What is up everybody? Matthew Deary, the brand new-ish Phantom 2. So glad to see your smiling faces yet again. Before we dive into this video, I want to show you some of the footage that I captured from a recent sunset flight around the cathedral in St. Paul, Minnesota. Let's take a look. So, what inspired this sunset flight? Well, almost six years ago to date, July 25th, 2014, I uploaded this first Cathedral drone video. In the infancy of my drone piloting skills and career, this was one of my first really successful flights and edits. And since I uploaded to YouTube six years ago, the videos almost amassed 8,000 views. Oh, good for you! And back in 2014, it even caught the attention of Fox 9 News, for which I was interviewed, and a star of a Fox 9 News segment. It doesn't get much bigger than that, guys. Matthew Deary was in his car when he saw the shot. This is your left and right. One that could open a Steven Spielberg movie. Oh, God! I can still remember driving home on 94 East back in 2014 and looking up and seeing the sunset just perfectly hitting the cathedral dome. And with my drone in the trunk, I hopped off on the next exit, got out of my car, and put the drone in the air, and, and I captured this moment. It, it really was just this opportune, perfect moment. Creativity struck, and I took advantage. So that aerial footage was captured by my first drone, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, a beast in its own time. Now it's a dinosaur, a relic that just sits here and you can actually see there's mud and, and grass stains all over the props from some not so picturesque landings. How come every time you fly, we crash? It's not my fault, it's the ship. Uh, towards the end of its life, I was definitely less cautious with it as I upgraded drones and this one's just kind of sitting around. But I actually flew this drone about a year ago just to kind of see if it still worked and have some fun with it. And uh, it flew just fine. You can even see here that this, this DJI battery still holds a charge. So kudos to you, DJI. Looking back on the video, the archaic HD footage captured from this drone obviously leaves a lot to be desired. A lot has changed in drone technology in the past six years. And that is definitely apparent when comparing this drone to that of the Mavic 2 Pro. Looking at the edit, I think that the music is, is pretty awful, having edited it and heard the song a million times. Um, but the shots themselves and the composition and, and the flight, it, it definitely shows a, a budding skill set and something uh, as, as a drone operator that I started honing even back then in 2014. Back then, this, this drone shoot was probably one of my first 20 flights ever with a drone. So this was definitely in the infancy of my, my piloting career and the, a, lot, a lot of the skills that I, that I used in that first drone flight to really have cinematic type shots still are applicable to the way that I fly in 2020. Uh, flying drones back in 2014. No licensing, no registering your drone, no yearly insurance premiums. So pretty funny story about this first flight. This shot that you see here is just this fortuitous, unplanned moment of this father and son playing catch. I love you, Dad. And this is actually the drone auto landing and it's still rolling. I was actually standing on the east side of the cathedral and I was kind of filming on the west and the drone and the controller had lost communication and obviously the drone being six years old, the communication technology wasn't that great so when the the actual building blocked the reception I lost all control of it and freaking out because again this was probably my 20th flight and it was a DJI Phantom 2 it was a brand new drone 
I'm freaking out a little bit. So I start chasing after the drone and I'm looking for it and I've lost sight of the drone and the controller and the screen are not talking and I'm not seeing anything. And so then I ran all the way around the building and then as I get back to the east side of the, the cathedral, I see the drone going back and auto landing where I took off from. And much to my surprise, as I dove into the edit, I find that the whole time I was actually just still rolling. And there's this wonderful family moment of a father and son playing catch with the capital in the background. I love you, Dad. I definitely got lucky there in the sense of capturing the shot, but also that on my 20th flight, I, I didn't have any sort of um, catastrophic accident with this new tool. If there is one thing you can see from at least looking at these two videos, it's growth. I have grown as a pilot, as an editor, and as a creator. My Mavic 2 Pro is obviously significantly better than the Phantom 2, so you can see growth in many different areas. Oftentimes, as we look at ourselves from day to day or month to month, it's hard to see the change in our lives. But when we look back on ourselves over the course of a year or even more, you can see drastic changes, whether that be professionally or in your career or your personal life, your mindset, your physical health. Obviously, we're all aging. And so change is inevitable. And a lot of times it's important to see how much you've grown or declined over the course of time by, by going back and reflecting. And as a creative, it's important for me to look back at some of my older work just to get some perspective of how much how far I've come and how much I've grown. I still have doubt when I put videos like this out or I, or I deliver a content or a video to, cl to a client. And you always have this anxiety that, that people are gonna hate it. And so going back and reflecting on some of your older work and seeing how much you've grown can kind of sometimes ease that anxiety a little bit and, and let you know that um, hopefully, especially for me, I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you were a Phantom 2 or have any memories of these old drones or you hate these stupid gimbal clamps, make sure you leave me a comment below. No matter what, if you've made it this far, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It helps the channel grow. And the more the channel grows, the more goldfish I buy, which means the more goldfish I can eat. I will see you on the next one.